Well, good morning and welcome to the Thursday Three on this second week of Advent. And speaking of Advent, if you are in the Philadelphia area and you have not yet picked up our Advent devotional uh, with a, a prayer and thought for every day in Advent, I encourage you to pick this up at our church. One of the things that often people talk about at this time of year is uh, the stress and the anxiety. And certainly in our cultural moment, a lot of people are dealing with worry and anxiety. Listen to this very familiar verse from the book of Philippians. It says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Now, even though this verse is very famous, I actually think it's kind of complicated and hard to understand. In fact, that phrase, the peace of God, only appears one time in the entire Bible, and it's right here. And what does that exactly mean? In fact, I'm thinking actually in the new year, I may start a sermon series just talking about uh, a sense of anxiety and worry and how to deal with that because so many people struggle with that pretty regularly. Today, I just want to take a simple take of one part of this amazing verse, and that is he tells us uh, that instead of giving in to our worry and our anxiety, the solution is to pray instead. And so I want you to think about what is one thing that you are worrying about? If there's one thing that you have some anxiety or dis-ease about, one thing that comes to your mind that you're worrying about, what would that be? Let's begin this day by giving that thing up to the Lord. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for a new day of life. I think about this thing that causes me anxiety, this thing I'm worrying about. Lord, I feel out of control of it. And I know that I really can't control the world. I I can't make things happen always the way I want to because I am not God. You are. And so I want to take a moment to ask you to work in this area. I come to you with a spirit of thanksgiving. For every good gift I have is from you. And one of the greatest gifts you give me is the fact that you are God and I am not. And I'm not responsible for solving the world. That's your job. You ask me to be faithful and strive to be good and true and virtuous. So Lord, this day, help me to be faithful and leave the results to you. Help me not to be ruled by this thing I worry about, but rather be ruled by you. As best I know how, I lay it down before you and I ask you to act. My times are in your hands. Thank you for the time of this new day that you have given me. Walk with me through it, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friends, thanks for joining me for the Thursday 3. And if you're in the Philadelphia area, I encourage you to join us for worship this coming Sunday. You can find out more at leverington.org. For now, the Lord keep you and bless you, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.
make his face shine upon you, be gracious to you. The 